a kettle. All in all, it's rather clean. A saw lying on the floor. That's weird. A woman's purse. I've heard of these before. I think they're burglary tools. I feel uneasy when I come across something I don't have yet. Dirty dishes. Nothing I would normally deem interesting. Ah! Someone's coming! I have to hide somewhere! Where is it? Where the hell is it? Where did I put that damn note? Huh. There it is. Losing it would be the last straw. I should have memorized it before. Perfect. Now I don't need this anymore. <laughs> After tomorrow's shift, things will finally change. Okay, he left. I can leave now. I don't recall this being here before. It looks like a piece of paper. It might be the note that guy was talking about. He must have torn it to pieces. The butler went to call Toletta. He said to wait here until she arrives, and not to touch anything. <sighs> Let's have a look. Let's see. It's a series of old press clippings. Wait a minute. They're all about my family and the accident I had when I was a boy. The one that killed my parents. Why does Toletta have these? That's strange. From what these newspapers say, they brought me to this house, to the Thratamachus place, even before bringing me to the hospital. I wasn't aware of that. Rummaging through other people's belongings isn't a nice thing to do, Charlie. <gasps> oh, yes, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't want to sound impolite. I was just looking around. Don't worry, Charlie, I'm just teasing you. So, what can I do for you? Why did you collect all these press clippings? Are you gathering information on me? I think it's pretty normal to gather some information about your boyfriend, don't you agree? It's sort of a family album. Don't you do the same thing with me? I think I already know everything I need. You'll tell me about the missing pieces when you want to. Please do as you wish. I'm guessing that you have something else to tell me, though, Charlie. Am I correct? You should answer some questions about a peculiar Greek amphora with a triangular base that's kept at the museum. A Greek amphora? And why should I know anything about it? You told me that your family donated a lot of objects to the museum, so I thought it might have been one of them. I think it plays an important role in this story. Charlie, please listen to me. There are some things that would be better to stay hidden. I know it's hard to accept this, but please, trust me. First you asked me to investigate a theft, then to overlook the clues I found. Come on, tell me what's really happening. You're right. You deserve an explanation. I just know that, among the stolen archaeological finds, 
there's a particular object, an amphora to be exact, that is really important to my family. Oh! I know that you don't believe in certain kinds of folklore, so to speak. That's why I was unwilling to bring up this subject before. <sighs> we Thradamachuses, however, place a certain stock in legends and mysteries. Well, that amphora is called Kairos, and it is a very special object. Why is it so special? Based on the results of our research, the Kairos is much more than a simple amphora. That object is a receptacle, a container capable of channeling misfortune from the surrounding environment, amplifying it, and then indiscriminately pouring it out to things and people. Ah. You might not believe it, but we think that object is a great danger. We need to recover it, whatever it takes. Come on, Taletta. I don't want to disrespect your beliefs, but don't you think you're exaggerating? Cursed objects. Misfortune. This sounds ridiculous. Absolutely not, Charlie. I'm accustomed to giving everything the correct weight. You were the one who said that the Amphora was probably the real target of the theft. Or am I wrong? Evidently, my family and I aren't the only ones who consider that object really important. That certainly seems to be the case. Frankly, this story still seems pretty fishy, though. I'm sorry, Charlie. I put you in a dangerous situation. If you think I can help you, or if you need anything from me, please don't hesitate to ask. Hi, Gregory. Any news from the Farcon Foundation? Did they find anything about the Service Society in the Capitol's Chamber of Commerce? Hello, Charlie. Yes, the Farcon has just delivered this file for you. But I don't know what information it holds. Thanks. Let's see what it says. Seems like they managed to gather some information. Great. It says the Service Society was founded in 1907 by my father. Unbelievable. It doesn't give the reason, though. You all right, Charlie? Yes, yes, everything's fine. Thanks, Gregory. Should I be sleeping already? What are these? Maybe the fragments that guy scattered throughout the room. It should be much easier to collect them now. That lighter in the window is really beautiful. I'm sure it could be helpful. It's a pity that the display cabinet is closed. The glass appears shaky, though. Okay, here it is. If this detective thing doesn't work out, at least I have a possible career as a thief. But it actually has a purpose then. Pierre Perignon. Now I remember. That's the password to get into the proud peacock.
password. Pierre Perignon. Okay, my friend, you can pass. Have a nice evening. You need correct attire for any occasion. Luckily, I always keep a change of clothes available here. <laughs> These are the privileges of being a regular. Good evening, sir. What can I get you? I have to remind you that I'm forbidden to serve you olives in any form. And it's all because of that harmless accident. Let's see. A whiskey, thank you. What can I bring you, sir? Gin and tonic. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't have finished it all in one gulp. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't want to. Uh, don't worry, sir. Just leave it to me. Say goodbye to another glass. These are really tragic days. We're almost out of them. Maybe I can fix it. The damage doesn't look too serious. Let's see. If I glue this one this way and this other one that way. Glue. It seems the barman already used more than enough of it. I guess he wouldn't complain if I took what's left in the canister. That's strange anyway. Probably a sort of kleptomaniac episode. Good evening, Joseph. Any news here at the Proud Peacock? Charlie, it's been a while. I thought you found another club to spend your evenings in. It's been a long time since your last visit. <laughs> You're right. The fact is, I've had a long list of unpleasant engagements lately. Grand openings, lectures, business meetings, those sorts of things. Sometimes I've even had to participate in these events. It's been a real nuisance. It must have been a real grind, I presume. You know I wouldn't. I'm sentimentally bound to this place. I could never abandon it. By the way, how about rewarding me for my loyalty? By setting aside old misunderstandings and withdrawing the prohibition on serving the olives? Charlie, you know you're my favorite customer. But let's try not to tempt fate again. I'm sorry, I've been busy. Did you know I have a new job? A stiff one, I mean. Not the usual. I heard you started working as a private detective. I guess it's true, huh? Rumors travel fast, as usual. And I was hoping to surprise you. That's very kind of you. But as you know, keeping up to date is part of my job. Tell me, are you here for a drink? Or is your visit related to something else? Well, to tell the truth, I was hoping that you could lend me a hand with the case I'm working at the moment. Um, Charlie, let it go. This road could lead you to some unpleasant surprises. Come on, Joseph. For all the drinks I offered your patrons? I'm not asking for any kind of direct help. I just need some suggestions. And what are you looking for suggestions for? Well, I'm working on the theft that happened at the museum the other night. And since no one knows the gutters of this city better than you, I was wondering if you've heard anything about it. I'm still an inexperienced detective, unfortunately, but I just need someone to point me in the right direction. You're sticking your nose in a dangerous world, Charlie. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm not a child anymore, and I don't need this kind of advice. What I need is some information about the case. I understand. No offense intended, Charlie, but what do I get for getting mixed up in this business? You'll find it interesting to know that the police have been keeping your place under surveillance. They think the thieves might try to sell the stolen goods through smuggling channels. Well, well, so that's how things really are, huh? 
I have to say that this whole thing is turning out quite unexpectedly. Believe me, this case is far from normal. I'm working on it for personal reasons. That's why I'm so interested. Grit and determination. You surprise me. It seems you're taking this matter way more seriously than you usually do. See? I told you I'm serious. Come on. We've been friends a long time. I wouldn't bother you if it wasn't important. I see there's no dissuading you this time. Oh well, as you wish. I'll try to give you the information you seek. I don't know much about the theft at the museum, only that it was done by a group of professionals from out of town. They're led by a strange woman with a fondness for white dresses. She calls herself White Widow. A woman with a fondness for white dresses? As far as I know, they still haven't tried to sell the stolen goods yet. And I don't think they will. Thefts like this are always commissioned by a buyer. Artwork in general is very difficult to fence. It was theft on commission then. That's everything I know. Good luck with your investigation, Charlie. Thank you, Joseph. I knew you'd eventually help me.